Thank you for joining the pants party. Thanks for joining the pants party. Look at this. Dance Look at woo! the pants party. From a very special <laughs> call-up season finale, the 2022 MLS Cup, and it is LAFC Susanna Collins. I cannot even get my head around what we <laughs> witnessed, Jill. This MLS Cup final had it all. A little bit of everything. Literally everything, uh, but it's LAFC who are our new MLS Cup champions. And Jill, we talked to some pretty amazing people, but should we just, should we just, 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 just watch. Just John McCarthy and Will Ferrell. John McCarthy, did you think you were going to leave <laughs> Los Angeles today? The most important person in this city. In this, literally city. <laughs> no, not at all. I never even thought about that until you said it. Never once in my life. So it's amazing. It's an amazing moment. John, I know that you've probably been asked this a million times today, but honestly, like, we see Maxime go down. Like, absolutely heartbreaking. This is the man. Oh, oh, wow. Will Ferrell, what man. can you tell us about John? You and you know the irony. He's yeah. from Philly. He's I know. <laughs> and what if what if Philadelphia loses tonight? What if the Phillies lose tonight, John? I mean, I'm a Phillies guy. Let's go, Phillies. We are we're, we're extremely sad about what happened to Max. Of he saved the game. I yeah. know. And the but play he made was unbelievable. Unbelievable. That changes the game. If he doesn't touch him, he doesn't him touch him. It's the game over. It's a breakaway. You don't know what can happen. And, and I FaceTime Maxie about six times. But then this so mother really effer sick. comes in <laughs> and sh locks it down. <laughs> Holy crap! I just met your dad and your brother. Did you meet him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they wanted to meet you so bad. They wanted to meet you. I'm Wait, just. What did you What did you say to the fam? What? what did you say to his family? I just said I just said I watched him in our early preseason game. Yeah. That was here at the stadium. We, there was maybe like 10,000 people. We lost like three to two. No, but we won. We won 2 1. No, I don't know. I think Apples we lost. I think we lost. But I just remember, I remember you made like 20 quality saves. It was great. You were like flying all over the place. Thank you. And I just remember, like, where did that guy come from? And I'm like, Udo, oh, we got him Udo. from Miami. And, yeah, so. Philadelphia. Can I point something out before you go, Will Ferrell? Hey, say thank you for joining the well, pants party. Thanks for joining the pants party. Look at this. Dance Look at the pants party. showed up thank you john you're gonna party with will ferrell tonight i just like oh, what that's that billy chucking right there that's that billy chucking right there how did it taste how did how, how was that it tasted like the best thing i've ever drank in my life <laughs> All right, John McCarthy, before we let you go, I know, Seb's got it now. When when they presented you with that MVP trophy, take us through your emotions. And you had a shirt and shirt way under there somewhere. I know. Yeah. Um, I had my... You have a lot of layers on. My LaSalle, LaSalle shirt. LaSalle shirt. Um, I wear red gloves from my high school. It's North Catholic. It's where I grew I'm sorry. It's where I grew up from in Philadelphia. Um, when they gave me that trophy, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was for. And then when they said it, I was like, no way. Like, this is so real. I was still, like, in awe. Um, and I still am. But it's, like I said before, it, it's something I dream of as a kid to just lift a trophy. I haven't lifted a trophy since I was 15 years old, a junior in high school. So this is oh, an amazing John, moment. we saw your family run and hug you. And I got emotional because yeah. I can't imagine what it was like for them watching you step up in this moment. What did your family say to you? You did it. My dad said you <laughs> did it. Um, Go, Dad! It was it was an amazing moment. Like I said, these are moments we dream of as players, but you don't realize how much your family backs you up and how much my family means to me and how much of my friends and family mean for me back home that were texting me yesterday, today. I'm sure a little bit more now, but like when I saw my son, he's, he's seven weeks old. It's it's something I'll never forget. Yeah. My wife, I love her. I love my son. I will never forget this moment. Well, we got it on video. I'll send it to you later. Uh, please, John, please. Thank you. enjoy. Five minutes to break down the 120 <laughs> minutes that we just saw. How would you summarize that? The only way <laughs> LAFC can win MLS Cup was done today. <laughs> Sebastian, you get the start today, yes. right? MLS Cup final. Yeah. Like, you have been in and around this league, but for this game to to, for everything that happened, I mean, it literally had everything, right? We had red cards, we had extra time, 
we had PKs. Like, have you ever seen a game? Have you ever been a part of a game like that was this crazy and literally had all of those things happening? No, I, was, I literally felt like I just got off a roller coaster. Like when we went up 1-0, up 2-1, then the equalized immediately, then up 3-2, they were up 3-2. It was insane. Never ever been a part of a game like this. I'm just happy we can, we're on the good end of it. Cause I can imagine how Philly feels. They're a good team too. They played really, really well, and my heart goes out to them. Oh my God. But it was a great game from both sides, and it was, I'm, I'm happy I was able to be a part of it. There were so many surprising moments. What was the one that surprised you the most? <laughs> uh, Gareth dunking on Elliot. Dunking. Wild. I was like, dunking. oh, he still got it. Okay. Dunking. I lost my <laughs> mind. Gareth Bale still got it on the people. <laughs> no. I lost my mind. When this, okay, but when you, you're going up against the goalkeeper of the year yes. in PKs, what was going through your head? Like, how did you guys kind of like get focused and rallied knowing that Andre Blake was standing in the way of your first MLS Cup with us? You phase it out. You phase it out. We've been working on penalties since playoffs started. Yeah. So it's all about being confident, going up and doing your routine and putting the ball when you, putting the ball where you want to. If he saves it, he saves it. That's why he's goalkeeper of the year. And if you put it in your corner and you score, you score. That's what you do. So it's tough, but you know, when the pressure's on, that's when players, you know, some players shine. Sebastian Ibiaga, where does this moment rank in career moments for you? Top. Obviously I got traded last year when New York went on to win it. I was a bit gutted, but I was happy for my boys there. And this year, actually, John told me in preseason, I'm going to take you to the final and we're going to win it. And here we are. And so Go celebrate. Look at how thank shiny. You. It's very heavy. Substantial. Did you drink? So oh, wait, did you drink out of the cup? Oh, yeah, did you drink I out of the not. cup? Okay, I was too busy go. popping champagne. Go, go, go. Get over there. Go pour it. that in there. We're thank so happy for you. And if you had it and if the cup is still filled, bring it over here. I would I like to you. try that. Thank you. Me gusta tu sombrero, uh, tu camiseta. Yeah, sí. Yeah. Sí, no, agradecido con Dios por la oportunidad. Pues, agradecerle a todo este público, a mis compañeros, al cuerpo técnico, a los directivos por, por la oportunidad que nos dan de, de poder traer esto acá. Ahora disfrutarlo mucho, pronta recuperación a más y a todos los que están golpeados y vamos por más. Muchas gracias. Una más pregunta. Dime sobre tu uh, sombrero, por favor. Es eh, una tradición de Colombia, de alegría, de, de lo que somos. Sí, de lo que somos nosotros. Siempre estar alegre, siempre bailar, disfrutar. Y bueno, qué más hermoso que traerlo aquí a, esta hermosa, a este hermoso país, a esta hermosa ciudad como es Los Ángeles. Ahora disfrutar y que Dios los bendiga. You are, I, no, I don't know, how, no, um, yo no sé en español, but you have the best outfit. MVP of clothes, <laughs> MVP de ropa. Mwah. Sanchez, you are an MLS Cup champion. How does it feel? It feels awesome. Uh, <laughs> I still don't understand what happened. Uh, it was a great game, great competition against a fantastic team. Uh, it could have gone their way, uh, but uh, I think that we also deserve to be champions uh, this 2022 season. Ilya, take me through your penalty kick, please, because I couldn't breathe. I was pretty calm because John was uh, being amazing, so we still had another chance uh, in case I missed. Uh, I just chose the side. I knew Andre is gonna go, was going to go to her to his left because I remember another penalty with Kansas City against them that uh, he also went to his left. Uh, but, you know, once you choose the side, you have to put it there. We just asked Sebastian Ibiaga in a game that had everything, what moment surprised you the most? Uh, I think the third goal. Uh, being a man down, uh, cheeky, going all the way uh, till the uh, end line and putting the cross. And Gareth just uh, heading it with everything he has. No, He came here for these moments. Carlos is here for these moments. Chicho, Denis, Tejo, they are all here for this moment. So happy for that. Ilya, this team, I am so impressed with the mental strength of this team. Because even when they would equalize and when they took the lead, like you guys consistent all season long, you've yes. been able to do this. How? Yes, How? Steve, Steve Cherondolo, Ante, Mark, Oka, our leaders in the bench. They put this on us every day. Uh, it's not a coincidence that uh, it happened today, but uh, because we've been training and, and, and uh, building this mentality day after day. Ilya, you know, it's the life of a goalkeeper that you got to be ready when you're called on. Talk to us about 
John McCarthy, and it's a storybook. MVP used to play in Philadelphia. He gets the call up, literally. Hey, the call up, and he wins it for you guys. Unreal. Uh, his performance in his short performance is not easy at all. It's very difficult to step on the field uh, for that exact moment, and he did it. We remember a friendly game that he played. We played against America. He was tremendous on the uh, penalties, uh, but uh, he was not lucky. Uh, he, today he was tremendous again, but he was lucky uh, to stop the, the, the penalties. And let me say something. Max, from the field, on the ground, uh, with uh, his injury, uh, called us together and Ask us to do it for him. So that's that's a real too. Is this dedicated to Maxime Crepo? Uh, 100 percent. It's for him. 100 percent. Eli, how are you going to celebrate tonight? No, I mean, <laughs> whatever the club has a schedule for us, uh, I'm going to be there for sure. Good for you. Well earned. We're so Thank happy you so for you. Wait, did you drink so out of the you. cup yet? No, no. Okay, yeah. go do that. Yes. We real. We want everyone. Everyone's drinking out uh, of the cup. The cup is for the fans. They deserve it. Uh, uh, they have been here since day one. Uh, earlier than any of us, uh, so let them have it and we will celebrate later. Ilie, muchas gracias so y felicidades. Brian, I know you've got a party to go to, but like, real quick, you guys just won MLS Cup in the most dramatic way possible. I can't believe it. What, like, what is your initial reaction to this match and how this all played out? Unbelievable. Uh, I can barely even talk. I'm just screaming so much. Uh, so excited. I keep squeaking. So excited. The boys put in so much work. It wasn't a good game for us, uh, and we still came out on top. I mean, it's just unbelievable and doing it in front of the 3252, in front of all of our families. It's like, and John McCarthy stepping up and being oh the man. God. Like, oh you can't write a better story. We did it for Max. We did it for you Max. You know he was born in Philly. Unbelievable. What? Oh, yeah, that guy wears way too much Philly stuff around here. We've been trying to stop him for you before, all year. Ryan, before we let you go, a lot of people are not going to know a ton about John McCarthy. What can you tell people about him? The most professional, hardworking guy. He doesn't care to be in the spotlight. The guy, the guy puts in all the effort day in day out he's a phenomenal goalkeeper and he stepped up big time he's never asking for a big contract he's never asking for the accolades and uh he's a he's one of the best guys you can have in a locker room he he brings our team together in a different way are you shaving this tonight are you keeping this immediately night? it's being shaved <laughs> immediately in the locker room it's being shaved jill um i i'm still processing i'm speechless i'm will ferrell crashed Mm -hmm. The call up. And crashed an interview. He got with the, the memo. MVP. Most importantly, MVP sure, Carlos Vela sure. Most importantly, he got the memo about the pants. The pants, the pants party. We had a pants party. We watched uh, John McCarthy drink out of the MLS Cup. I mean, honestly, I, I, how are we going to top this? Ever? There's a, that's a storybook type of ending. And you know what? Now we just all go home. We take a little <laughs> nap and we all get ready for the World Cup. And then we all come back to you in a few months for a whole oh, new season of the call up. What a season we have had. We are so appreciative to all our viewers and our listeners. It's all about you guys. We have had an absolute blast. This feels like the perfect way to sign off for the season. It sure, Jill. sure does. A little warmer than we were in Portland last True year. Story. And I really And a little drier. And I really, really have to say the amount of people that have said hi to us here I in LA know. makes me realize that the call up is uh by coastal. Wait, does this mean I have to leave Los Angeles now? Yes. Oh, you have to go man. home. Man. Dang it, I thought I was like a proper West Coaster. <laughs> anyway, all good things come to an end. Um, guys, we love you. We'll see you very soon. Thankful for Bye. you too, my friend. Love you. What's up, everybody? It is Susanna Collins and Jillian Sackovitz, co-hosts of The Call Up. And if you want more Call Up action, hit like and subscribe right here on YouTube, right there. And also make sure that you download every episode of The Call Up every single Tuesday at 5 o'clock Eastern Time or anywhere that you get your podcasts. And while you're here, why not check out some of these other videos as well?